Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome to my new modded map. So, first off, um, I'm going to have to say that uh, I used Oprize's modding tool for this, and I thought it was really awesome, and it took me a few tries to actually get it right, but it was me that was doing something wrong, so it's all good. Um, so, thanks Oprize, I'll put a link in the description to his channel, and... This is great. This is going to save me a ton of time to bring all my machines into one world. So, uh, first off, I have my uh, tree eaters. There's my very, very, very first one. Um, and then we kind of work up the line here to all the way to my dual tree eater. And, uh, yeah, so you can come have a look at these when my map is done. I'll put the uh, this world up for download when I'm all done. So, um, in the far back corner over here... I started putting more stuff. Uh, we have my uh, item tester to see um, how many items that you'll get uh, as we go on through uh, the title updates. So I'll be able to come back here and check and see if we got more stackable items on screen and stuff like that. Uh, here's a wheat farm that I designed. Uh, I really like this wheat farm. It's pretty awesome. Uh, there's my high resource pumpkin farm but you have like almost uh, zero losses it's very rare something gets stuck up there um, then we have my uh, sugarcane farm and then I got the tweak that I did uh, on the sand generator I'm gonna put the other tweak next to it um, here is a completely useless enchanting room uh, just because we don't have 50 levels because uh, I guess it was too complicated and too hard at the time. So, uh, But it works great. You can choose uh, all kinds of different uh, settings. And, you know, I'd probably be able to just play with the bottom ones, really, because you only need certain amounts. So the top bar is kind of, like, obsolete. And then you could go for a full enchantment right here. And it would give you all the bottom ones, and you could hit a level 30. So... Um, yeah, so at least the bottom row is useful. <laughs> the top row isn't useful at all because we don't uh, have that many levels anymore. Um, then here is the... Uh, what the hell? My minecart dispenser that I did. Um, I guess it's just missing minecarts. I guess minecarts don't transfer over on the map. Uh, but that's okay. I can just put those in afterwards. Uh, what else? I wonder if that block glitch happened again, too, because... Ah, uh, freaking controller. I really need a new controller. Bad. There we go. Alright, so, yeah. Alright, they're all iron blocks again. Okay, so that's all good. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna also add some of the different things I've done in the middle here, too, and stuff like that. Like a few of the doors I did, and, uh... Let's see, a few other little components that I made too. And then I'm going to designate the other side over here to like a monostable array area where I'm just going to try to find all the monostables and uh, as I come across them anyways, and I'm going to put them in there. Uh, mainly for a reference for myself, if I ever building something and I need a monostable, well, it saves me from searching the internet all the time and, you know, that's uh, that's that. So yeah, this is the beginning of that, and because of Oprize's modding tool, uh, I have a little bit of an idea. So TU14 is coming up, and I'm possibly going to have to restart my map, because, you know, you got Nether Quartz, and you got the other crap there that's all going to kind of affect uh, my map. So I was kind of thinking maybe I could use Oprize's tool and convert my map, run it through MC Edit and uh, kind of cut out my castle and place it back into the map. Um, and then I just have to maybe redo the slime farm and my mine and um, 
this way it also resets my nether and then I'd probably have to redo my blaze farm so we'd hope that it's going to be a dual blaze farm again um, it would really suck if it wasn't but uh, yeah that's my plan and my idea that I got from using Oprize's tool and uh, let's hope it works so when TU14 comes out I'll uh, try to transfer my map over and see if I can save myself a a big headache, which would be really awesome. So, everybody, peace, take care. Thank you, O'Prize, once again. And like I said, there is going to be a link in the description below to his channel where you can find all those great mods and his killer tutorials how to do it because you just really got to listen to what he says and don't smoke pot when you do it. So, you know, that's my only advice. So, everybody, peace out, take care. Till next time.